Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And today I have a faith journal process video for you. I'm going to be using a new set from Kelly Bangs. This is part of her Project Grateful series, and this is her release for April. And it has a few different parts. First of all, you have the journal bits, which are all of these gorgeous little boxes. They are fabulous for your journaling in directly in your Bible. They're fabulous for planning. Um, I love using them. So you have different journaling bits right here. Then you also have ephemera. And you guys, this month, the ephemera, um, look at those florals. Like, are you kidding me? Those are so ridiculously beautiful. These are what I'm going to be focusing on today. You also have a few more. Look at all of, look at the rainbows. I love it. Love the cherry blossoms. So cute. So those are the ephemera bits. And then you also have the numbers, which of course include all of our favorite girls dressed for the spring and all of your numbers to record gratitude throughout the month. So these are gorgeous sets. If you are participating in Project Grateful, you certainly want to pick them up. Even if you are not participating in Project Grateful, um, these are beautiful sets to journal with. And that's what I'm going to do today. If you want to find out more about Project Grateful, um, you can check out the Illustrated Faith Print and Pray Shop. Um, back in November was when Project Grateful started. It's never too late to join in. It's all about documenting gratitude on a daily basis, and I think you would um, really enjoy working through it with us. So I am going to be doing a faith journal process in my Archer and Olive journal. We're going to do, I think, probably a single page, but you know how it goes. Sometimes that is what I plan to do and that's not what it ends up as. So we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, I will put you guys on fast forward. I will link everything that I use down below. Otherwise, let's go. This entry is going to be all about celebrating spring. And so the first thing I'm going to do is actually fussy cut out these different florals. I love how huge they are. I think they're so beautiful. Um, when, when you purchase this set from Illustrated Faith, it actually comes with the PNG files, which would be the cut files, um, files you can use to cut these out with your Cricut or your silhouette, whatever you have. Um, and so I could have done that. I just chose to fussy cut this time. Sometimes I just decide to go ahead and print and then just plan on fussy cutting on my own. So cutting all these out, we're going to use the florals as the basis for our page. And I want to celebrate spring. I love the spring season. I love it for a lot of reasons, but it also to me feels like this spring is coming alive even more. It does feel as if we're seeing the light at the end of the COVID tunnel that we are kind of coming back together. My kids are doing activities that they were not able to do in the past two years. I'm able to travel and do things I wasn't able to do in the past two years. And so it's being, it's really exciting. And so I feel like this spring is a a celebration of renewal like we haven't had in a long time. So I'm very excited to celebrate spring and to just be so thankful to God for bringing us through the difficult seasons that we have been through in the past two years. To me, the spring season is all about color and I love, love, love my color. So we're going to start with some watercolor on the page and I'm only using three different colors. I'm going to use a magenta, a really nice golden yellow, and then a bright blue. And I'm using them to create a border on the page. And then as they mix, you'll start to see other colors come out. So of course, we're using some of the primary colors here as they mix, you'll see some oranges come out some greens, and really creating a very much a rainbow feel, which is what I was wanting all along the edges of the page. And I use watercolor, it looks a little bit harsh right now as it dries, it'll soften, it's just a beautiful feel in the back of the page. This is a really easy technique, I use plenty of water. This paper is not watercolor paper, but it holds up really well. I'm loving the Archer and Olive Journal for my journaling. I'm able to do mixed media. I'm able to try new things. It does wrinkle a little bit. I actually like wrinkled pages. I was someone that always loved wrinkled pages in my Bible because it just meant it was a page that had been um, used and read and really um, taken in. So I feel the same way about the wrinkled pages in my art journal. I realize not everyone feels that way, but I don't mind. 
Okay, so I have this set. I am going to start to dry it. I'll move the color around a little bit more as we dry. You can see I'm just going to tilt it, kind of mix it a little bit more. I do pull out some uh, paper towels that will soak up a little bit of the extra color, but I get it mostly dry. And then I'm going to add a few splatters on the background. I use a brush to tap my main brush to just add a few splatters to bring in the color in the middle of the page. Um, just to create a messier look here. This is a little bit more of a controlled way to get your splatters than just flinging it with one brush, just tapping it with the second brush um, is something I like to do so I can control the area. Um, splatters will take a little bit longer to dry, so I set this aside while I am getting ready to do some of the paper pieces that are going to be over the top of this entry. All right, that'll be moved to the side, and now we're going to focus on those florals. And I'm going to create a little bouquet of flowers. This is just some brown craft paper that I had in my room, and we're going to fold it over and create just a little bundle here. And we're going to just talk about a little paper wrapped bundle of flowers to represent the brightness, the renewal of spring, the hope that comes with spring. And these are some of the things that I'm thankful for as spring comes around. I just love that the warmer weather gives us an opportunity to connect in person a little bit more than in the winter where I am. I love that God just gives us so many amazing colors in the spring that we, it's just, I love the paintbrush that he uses to, to really decorate our world and to show the detail um, and the detail that he focuses on. I think it's absolutely awe inspiring. So I have my little bouquet. We're going to hand wrap this with some twine just to make it feel very original. And then I will stick my paper florals in here. Um, and it's my little bouquet of flowers from Kelly Banks. I'm going to pretend she sent me this little, this little bouquet just to brighten up the day and brighten up the room. As I look outside right now, it's very gray where I am today. And so it felt great to play with all of these bright colors, but spring is right around the corner. We already have cherry blossoms blooming, which is usually the first sign here in the Northern Virginia area. When the cherry blossoms start to come out, then the dogwood trees and then the daffodils, and then it is spring all over. All right, so this will go on the side of the page on the left side of the spread. I do have to trim it out a little bit more. I made it a little bit too large to fit on the page, as you can see. So I'm going to trim it and then we're going to tilt it this way. Now, this would be a great pocket. I could have put something in here. I didn't at this time. I will end up putting a verse on the bottom, but we're just going to nestle a few more of these gorgeous florals. I'm actually already planning on printing out these florals again and using them in my faith planner because I think... They are just so impactful. I love the size and I actually think it'd be fun to print them out in multiple sizes. So that's one of the great things about using printables is you can adjust the images um, to fit what you're trying to do. So if you're a card maker and you want these bigger or smaller, you can do that. Um, you can change them up however you like. So I have three little spots over here. I'm taking a cue from Project Grateful and I'm going to write out three things I'm grateful for as spring is coming upon us. So I will notate that in a bit. So that's why I cut out these little journaling spots. They're fabulous for notating that gratitude. And then I will actually use the numbers one, two, three to um, just highlight those gratitude pieces in there. But you can see it's really simple when you're using the printables, it doesn't take much. You can add a little splash of color to the background. Um, you trim them out, you make them work for you and for your design. I went back and forth and where to put that too. I decided to go with the middle. Um, so you can adjust these printables and that's, that's awesome. You can use them for what works for you. All right, trimming off the extra little edges and then I want to add a title. We're going to add the title over on the left hand side and I'm actually going to use some thickers. Normally I don't go so dimensional in this faith journal, but I just loved these particular thickers and I thought they went really, really well with their pink and their yellow. So we're going to add in the title. Um, spring is here and I like to spell things backwards a lot of times because it helps me adjust the spacing knowing that I want it to be kind of right aligned over here on the side. So adding in all of the letters for spring is here and then it really is almost done because I just have to add a few little writing touches. The verse that I chose for this uh, page is from Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verses 11 and 12. And it says, For behold, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, 
the time of singing has come and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. And I think that's just such a verse that is so promising, so full of hope. And that is really what the spring season signifies for me. So I do trim out this little tag to write out that verse and then I will put it on the front of my little floral bouquet and then I'll list out the three things I'm grateful for. It says, I'm grateful that there is hope on the horizon for the season of mourning to end. I am grateful for the colors of spring and the amazing brush that, God's paint, that God paints with. And I am grateful that with warmer weather comes more chances to connect to the world around us. And that is going to be it for this faith journal spread. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I will link all of the supplies that I used down below in the description box so you can make sure to check those out. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my scrappy patrons. Thank you all so much for all of your support. It really does mean the world to me and it helps me keep this channel going. If you want to find out more about Patreon and the extra perks and extra content that you can see over there, then check the uh, link in the description box. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.